The WOW signal, a potential game changer. The universe is a vast, mysterious place, and we've barely begun to scratch the surface of its secrets. For decades, scientists, with their unwavering dedication, have been tuning their instruments to the heavens, scanning for whispers from the stars that could hint at extraterrestrial life. What's emerged in this ongoing quest is a handful of genuinely puzzling signals that defy easy explanation. These aren't just stray bits of cosmic noise. They're sometimes fleeting, sometimes repeating signals that stir up debates, inspire theories, and fuel hope that we might not be alone. But what sets these signals apart are their elusive origins, unique patterns, and the sheer challenge of explaining them with current scientific knowledge. The mystery behind these signals is what keeps us all captivated and engaged in this quest for understanding. Join us as we investigate these 10 strange signals, uncover the technology used to find them, and explore what makes them so mysterious and thrilling. The thrill of discovery is palpable in each of these cases as we inch closer to unraveling the mystery of extraterrestrial life. 1. The WOW Signal, 1977 Imagine you're an astronomer in the 1970s, scanning the skies for radio waves with the Big Ear Telescope in Ohio. A typical night's work until a sudden burst of energy grabs your attention. This is precisely what happened to Dr. Jerry R. Amon in August 1977. When he saw the improbable intensity of the data, he circled the numbers on the printout and scrawled WOW in red ink. That's how the now famous WOW signal got its name. The WOW signal lasted for a tantalizing 72 seconds, the maximum length the telescope could focus on one patch of sky as Earth rotated. Its frequency of 1420 megahertz, known as the hydrogen line, was stimulating. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, and many scientists theorize that an intelligent civilization might use its natural resonance to communicate. The hydrogen line is significant because it is a frequency at which hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, naturally emits radio waves. This has led some to speculate that an intelligent civilization might use this frequency to communicate, making the wow. The signal is even more intriguing. What made this even stranger was its source, the signal came from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, near no known celestial objects capable of producing such emissions. Despite countless attempts to detect it again, the wow, the signal has never reappeared. Was it a signal from another civilization or just a fluke of the cosmos? The universe isn't telling for now, but the wow signal symbolizes the ongoing search for intelligent life. How scientists search for signals. The tools used to detect signals like the WOW signals are among the most sensitive in human history. The Big Ear Telescope, for example, was a radio telescope designed to scan the sky for possible extraterrestrial messages. Unlike optical telescopes that rely on visible light, radio telescopes detect radio waves, longer wavelengths that can travel through dust and gas in space. Researchers today use even more advanced instruments like the Allen Telescope Array and the Square Kilometer Array, which can scan more significant swaths of the sky and analyze data at unprecedented speeds. Projects like SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, have global networks that pool computational resources to sift through mountains of data for anything unusual. The Lorimer Burst, 2007, Fast radio bursts, brief, intense pulses of radio waves that explode across the cosmos, are some of the most enigmatic phenomena astronomers study. The first of these, the Lorimer Burst, was discovered in 2007 by Duncan Lorimer and his student David Narkovich. The pair was reviewing old data from Australia's Parkes Observatory when they found it. Here's the wild part. This burst lasted only five milliseconds and was immensely powerful releasing more energy than our sun would output in days, even more incredible. Its source was billions of light years away, meaning it originated in an ancient part of the universe. What could cause something so intense yet so fleeting? Possible explanations range from neutron stars colliding to black holes merging 
or even entirely unknown astrophysical phenomena. Neutron stars are incredibly dense remnants of massive stars that have exploded in supernovae. When two neutron stars collide, they can produce a burst of energy that might be detected as a fast radio burst. Similarly, when black holes merge, they release tremendous energy, potentially creating a similar burst. These are just a few possible explanations for fast radio bursts. Since 2007, we've detected hundreds more FRBs, some repeating and others singular. Each adds another layer to this cosmic puzzle, but the Lorimer burst remains noteworthy because it was the first, using FRBs to map the universe. One of the most exciting uses of FRBs is as cosmic tools. Because radio waves travel through space, their interaction with interstellar matter can reveal details about the distribution of hydrogen and other particles. Scientists use this to map the cosmic web, the vast network of matter and voids that make up the universe's structure. The cosmic web is a large-scale structure of the universe, comprising interconnected filaments of galaxies and voids. By using fast radio bursts to map the distribution of matter in the universe, astronomers can better understand the cosmic web and the universe's large-scale structure. 3. SHGB 02 plus 14, a signal, 2003. Detected in 2003 by the SETI at Home project, the SHGB 02 plus 14, a signal thrilled astronomers and amateurs alike. SETI at Home enlists volunteers who use their computers to analyze radio telescope data. It's citizen science on a cosmic scale. In this case, it paid off. SHGB 02 plus 14 a grabbed attention because of its frequency, just over 1,420 megahertz, the same hydrogen line featured in the WOW signal. Its irregular pattern didn't match typical cosmic events like pulsars or quasars. The downside, it's been detected only three times, and follow-up observations haven't pinpointed its origin. Some suspect it could be an artifact of human-made interference, while others remain hopeful it might be something more extraordinary. 4. Tabby's star K, I, C, 8, 4, 6, 2, 8, 5, 2, a star with secrets. When you think of a star, you probably picture a constant, twinkling light. But Tabby's star, located 1,470 light-years from Earth, behaves like it's got something to hide. Initially observed by astronomer Tabitha Boyajian, this star dims in ways that defy explanation. Its brightness sometimes drops by as much as 20%, more extreme than most stars' variability. Some theories suggest a cloud of comets or a shattered planet orbiting the star could be blocking the light. Others have gone further, proposing the possibility of alien megastructures. Imagine a massive solar panel array built by an advanced civilization. While follow-up studies have ruled out specific natural causes, the mystery is far from solved. Tabby's star has become a touchstone for how little we truly know about the intricacies of the cosmos. How astronomers study stars. Scientists use a photometer to measure a star like Tabby's to study its light curve, essentially, a graph of its brightness over time. Observing dips in this curve can reveal clues about orbiting bodies or irregular phenomena. Space-based telescopes like Kepler and TESS allow astronomers to monitor stars, revolutionizing our understanding of distant worlds. 5. FRB 121102 Not all FRBs are one-and-done events. Discovered in 2012, FRB 121102 is the only repeating fast radio burst discovered so far. It originates from a dwarf galaxy some 3 billion light-years away. What sets FRB 121102 apart is its persistence. Astronomers have recorded dozens of bursts from this source, enabling a more detailed study. Some theorize its origin could be a highly magnetized neutron star called a magnetar. Others wonder if the bursts could be the signature of advanced alien technology. The repeating nature of FRB 121102 has opened up new avenues in studying fast radio bursts, proving that these phenomena can be more than just cosmic flukes. 6B LC1 signal 2020. 
detected as part of the Breakthrough Listen project. The BLC-1 signal was a significant headline. In 2020, Breakthrough Listen utilizes some of the world's most sensitive radio telescopes to search for signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. And the signal fits the bill of what scientists were looking for. It was narrowband, meaning it had a specific frequency, unlike typical background cosmic radiation. Such precision is often linked to technological origins. It's one of the most promising candidates we've had in recent decades, but follow-up studies are ongoing to eliminate possible earthly sources. 7. The Mystery at Parks The Parks Observatory in Australia has been critical in searching for extraterrestrial signals, but even the best instruments can encounter strange interference. Many of the curious bursts detected at parks turned out to be microwaves, specifically the kind made by kitchen appliances. Not all detections have simple explanations, however. Some bursts picked up by parks remain genuine mysteries, showcasing how difficult it can be to separate earthbound glitches from interstellar messages. 8. HD 164595 Signal When astronomers detected a signal from HD, 164595, a star 94 light years away, hopes ran high. The star system closely resembles our own and could potentially host Earth like planets. The signal was picked up only once, and no other evidence existed. However, it didn't stop the scientific community from rallying around the target. Continuous monitoring is a must, and HD 164595 serves as a reminder of how quickly the tide can turn in the search for alien life. 9. The Vela Incident Not all strange signals are purely radio-based. Consider the Vela Incident of 1977, when the Vela satellite recorded a mysterious double flash over the southern Indian Ocean. Originally designed to detect nuclear tests, Vela wasn't supposed to pick up anything unexplained. Yet the event didn't match any known detonations. Was it a natural meteorite event? An unreported weapons test? Or, as some fantasize, evidence of advanced alien activity? Decades later, the Vela incident remains a mystery. Why satellites matter? Satellites like Vela play a vital role in monitoring both Earth and space. Their global vantage point allows us to detect phenomena that ground-based equipment might miss. 10. The Pioneer Anomaly Launched in the early 1970s, the Pioneer 10 and 11 spacecraft were intended to explore the outer planets. However, as they crossed the solar system, data revealed they were slowing down in ways unpredicted by models. For years, theories ranged from unknown forces to alien meddling. Eventually, scientists determined the anomaly might have been caused by heat emitted from the spacecraft itself. Still, the Pioneer missions highlight how much we're still learning about the fundamental forces governing space exploration. Each of these signals opens a window into the vast unknown, challenging our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Are they echoes of ancient cosmic events, interstellar messages, or just quirks of space we don't fully grasp yet? What they do prove is how much there is still to discover. With every new method of observation, from radio telescopes to photometers and space-based satellites, we're getting closer to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Until then, these signals continue to inspire our imaginations, urging us to keep looking and listening.